Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you a video um, that can be helpful for knee pain, knee stiffness, um, if you're experiencing decreased range of motion. This is a really easy um, and gentle uh, technique that you can do at home. So before we actually begin the technique, what I'd like you to do is have your leg straight out. And what I want you to do is I want you just to pull your heel toward your buttocks as far as you can go and then let it slide back out. And what I want you to pay attention to when you do that motion is how easy was it to move forward versus back. I want you to pay attention to um, any discomfort through the movement, where it's occurring, um, and just kind of getting a sense of how it feels to move like this. Because we're gonna be we're gonna compare before and after. So what we're gonna do first is we're going to imagine that our foot is like a fan and we're gonna fan our foot forward and back. Now again, only go through a range of motion that is comfortable for you to do. This is not really meant to elicit pain and discomfort. So only moving through a range of motion you can. So you're gonna start with fanning one way and fanning the foot the other way. Back and forth. As you're moving through the range of motion, what I want you to notice is that when you roll almost to the end of in versus out, your knee kind of almost actually wants to bend. It really wants to bend at that end range of motion. So as you're moving, I just want you to pay attention to how your knee wants to move in relation to your ankle. So for me, when I, especially when I roll outward, my knee wants to bend here. Okay, back and forth. The other thing I want you to pay attention to for a moment is as you're moving your ankle on your foot, fanning back and forth, where do you feel that movement happening? Do you feel most of the movement in your ankle? Do you feel most of the movement in your knee? Or do you actually feel most of the movement in your hip, like your hips rolling in and out. I just want you to take a moment to appreciate that back and forth movement. Good. Now we're gonna roll our foot and our ankle out so that the outside of our foot is kind of flat with the, with the ground. And I'm gonna have you slide your foot in, allowing the knee to bend, of course, again, as far as it can go, and then straight back out. Pulling in and out. Good. And as you're sliding that foot in and out, I just want you to notice and get a sense and feeling of how easy it is. Is it easier to pull in or is it easier to straighten out? I'm pulling in and out. In and out. Notice how when you straighten out the leg, the knee naturally kind of wants to roll inward. When you bend, it wants to, the foot wants to stay more flat. Good. As you're moving back and forth, I also want you to notice the movement that's occurring in your hip. So you have movement at the knee, but you also have movement at the hip. And I just want you to appreciate the connection between the lower um, ankle, the knee, and the hip, and how they all have to kind of work together. Good. Now what I want you to do is take your fingertips of both of your hands, just at the uh, base of your kneecap, so kind of where you see that lump, right at the base of that lump, I want you to put your fingers, and I just want you to like, nestle them. You're not really pressing really hard, you're just pressing hard enough that you feel a you know a good contact and what we're going to do is we're going to um, imagine that we're pulling through our knee as we bend so i'm kind of just very gently guiding with my fingers as my knee bends and straightens as my knee bends and straightens so i'm not really pulling but i'm just kind of helping my knee bend a little bit so that, uh, you know, not all the effort is on my muscles. I'm kind of helping out a little bit. Bending back and forth. And I just want 
you to notice, does that feel different than when you were doing it by yourself? Do the sensations feel different? Is it easier in your knee? Does it change any of the sensations in your knee? Right, we have pressure from our fingers, so there's like a new, um, new activation of receptors. And just noticing and appreciating the difference of doing it with the hands there versus with the hands out. Good, couple more times. And again, always staying in a sort of pain free range of motion. Good. Legs gonna go back out straight. You're gonna place the palms of your hand on either side of your knee. And now we're just gonna roll our knee in and out. So now we're facilitating, now my hands are doing most of the movement. My hands are moving my knee in and out. You can see that my foot is acting like a fan. And just also notice how your hip is moving in and out, in and out. And your hands should feel nice and warm to the skin. And we're rolling in and out, in and out, in and out. And again, just appreciating this movement with the hands there compared to when the hands weren't there. Nice in and out. Again, I'm not really pressing into my knee. I'm just using my hands to kind of guide that movement back and forth. Nice and gentle and good. Now that we've completed our little mini exercise, what we're gonna do is we're gonna retest our knee bending. So we're gonna slide the foot toward the butt and then back down. And I just want you to notice how that feels compared to when you did it the first time. So is it easier? Can you feel the muscles a bit more? Has it changed the sensations of your knee? Does it feel less stiff? You know, what, what are the sensations that you're experiencing now that you've done this little routine? If you find that there's an ease of movement, little less stiffness, little less discomfort, greater range of motion, then that's a really great sign because that means that you can do this a couple times throughout the day and really maintain that range of motion and kind of work, use it as a self-management uh, technique while we're all um, you know, currently on lockdown for the pandemic. Anyways, hopefully you found this um, video useful and I hope to create a couple more for different various uh, body parts and we'll see where things go. Bye for now.